everyone, welcome to this Saturday video. Now before we get into the topic at hand, which you guys have asked for many, many times, I wanna say that if you don't already know, tomorrow, tomorrow is the live show. John from Obese to Beast LP from Lanky Progress TV and myself will be available for you to ask any question at all. It doesn't have to be fitness related, doesn't have to be anything related. You can ask us what our favorite color unicorn is. That starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. PST or GMT minus seven. So figure out what that is for you guys, or you can just click the link immediately below this video. It'll take you to the watch page and you'll see a counter of how many hours and minutes are left until the show starts. Behind me on the computer screen is the lovely Josie Mae hitting a leg day, which is ironic because this video itself is about leg days. You guys have asked me many, many times to go over my leg warm up and what do I do and why do I do it? And it's very basic, but I feel like a lot of people don't have a solid warm up. And I feel a warm up is so important, not only to help you, you know, prevent uh, injuries and all that that you usually hear warm ups are for, but also to get you focused mentally into the zone and to prepare yourself for what kind of contractions and movements that you're going to be going through. So I have about four or five exercises or whatever you want to call them, little movements that I do to warm my legs up before I start any heavy compound leg day. The first one, and probably the one that I like the most, is without any weight on your back, not even the bar or anything, just squat down into the bottom of your squat movement. For me, that's full ass or grass for you that might be you know parallel or something so this might be a different story for you but if you go full aster grass go all the way down and make sure that you're engaging your hips and your glutes because you will want to open your hips at the bottom it's very hard to understand what this means until you feel what it means to open your hips but essentially you don't want to let your lower back round you don't want to let your butt round you want to keep your glutes engaged like you're about to press through your heels and stand up with a squat like pretend you have a bunch of weight and what I basically do is I just stay at the bottom of that movement with my hips open my glutes engaged and I just hold that for 20 30 seconds this really helps for me it helps me think of what muscles I need to keep engaged when I'm at the bottom of that movement and also in my opinion helps me kind of stretch out my groin area and whatnot before the actual lift now another one of my favorite warm-ups for leg day but really any muscle group is just going through the movement without any weight on it so I'll put the bar on my back maybe not even with the bar and I'll just go through the movement going all the way down to the bottom of the squat and then coming up and as I come up I really try to thrust my hips forward I know you guys are gonna make a lot of jokes about that and I would too but you're trying to squeeze your glutes and at the top your glutes should be so damn flexed like seriously I feel like a lot of people don't squeeze their bot hard enough and when you're doing the movement you're actively trying to think about each piece of your body you know you're trying to feel your glutes engage you want to feel your hips break and start the movement from the top of the squat moving downwards while your hips are coming back your knees just over your toes or slightly behind it you are feeling your your hips open up which essentially it feels kind of weird it's kind of like if you were trying to show your butthole to the world I know that just ruined this for a lot of people but you really have to try to stick your butt out and you try to push each of your glute cheeks outwards as you come to the bottom and then as you're coming up you try to contract them inwards. I just realized how weird that just sounded. <laughs> But really, I mean, when you're doing this exercise, you should be thinking about every single part of your body and how you're engaging it and what's gonna work best to make the, the form feel the best and what makes you feel the most strong. This is probably the best warm up that you can do. Now, after I've done those two very important warm ups, I go on to some dynamic stretching, and these are very simple. Dynamic just means that you aren't holding the stretch, you're continuing moving around while you're doing the stretch. And dynamic is always what you wanna do before your weight training, while you wanna do static afterwards because you do not want to lose any strength, any contractile strength from causing plastic deformation because you were holding the stretch too long. So the first one I like to do is for my hamstrings and basically all it is is one leg is straight and the other leg you're gonna kick as high as you can trying to keep it straight. It doesn't have to be completely straight but mostly straight because you are trying to stretch the hamstring, nothing else. And you're just gonna kick that toe as high as you can in the sky. If you want to, you can touch your toe. A lot of people used to do that in soccer but really you're just kicking. But what I will do is 12 to 16 of these kicks on one side, switch to the other side and do 12 to 16 of those kicks on the other side. That is hamstrings then I'll move on to quads and basically quads is kind of just like a kickback it's kind of like I don't even know how to describe it you guys can see it right now but basically you're trying to stop your knee just below your hip and let your foot swing back and almost touch your butt we used to call these butt kickers in soccer except they were just slightly different but essentially all you're trying to do is feel your quad stretch each time you're pulling your foot back and you're using a lot of momentum so you got to use a lot of force and really 
swing your leg back. Again, I'll do this for 12 to 16 reps, and that is essentially what I do for my quads and hamstrings. I'll probably do each of those twice for each side of the leg. And finally, the last thing that I'll do is just a little warm up for the hips. Essentially, all I'll do is stand straight up, and then I'll take my knee straight up in front of me until the knee is level with the hip, and then from there, I'll move it outwards, I'll abduct it outwards, and then I'll drop it to the floor, and then start again. So in front of me, outwards, down, in front of me, outwards, down, and then after I've done it that way, I do it the opposite way, where I start from the outside, abducted, and then I adduct it in, and then come down, and you guys can see this. I'm sure you guys can see this because my words are not describing it as well as it needs to be, but this really helps me with my hips. My hips feel so much better, and I feel like I can get to the bottom of the squat with a lot less um, pain or whatever you want to call it, you know, with a lot less discomfort. This definitely helps me stretch and open up. And there you have it, guys. There is my warm-up for my legs. After this, I'll actually do some weighted warm-ups with just traditional like you would, you know, expect. So if I was going to hit three plates, I would do, you know, one plate on the squat bar for like six reps and then one plate and a quarter for like six reps and then two plates for like six reps same thing whatever you want to do whatever your regular warm-up is you can do after this but that is my body weight you know just completely from the very beginning of your leg workout before you actually even start the warm-up warm-ups warm-up I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I made it because a lot of you have been requesting this video, so if you do have any requests or any ideas for any other videos, please leave them in the comments below. I definitely read through them. I take note of what you guys want to see, and I try to make more of what you guys want to see. Also, if you just like this style of video where I explain, you know, exercises, warm-ups, and stretches, and stuff like that, I can definitely just do more general videos like this, and I'll just cover all the muscle groups and whatnot as we go. On a smaller note, I've been starting to record and also live stream my editing process when I edit a video for this channel, Humorous Fitness, on my second channel, Humorous Progress. So if you're not already following along on Humorous Progress, you guys should go over there. The link will be in the description below. Uh, make sure you subscribe, and if you're interested, you can see how I edit these videos and see the process behind, you know, all the YouTube magic that you guys love to see. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate you guys dropping the thumbs up, dropping me a comment, let me know what you think, and if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, and don't miss the live show tomorrow. I'm gonna be so sad and mad if you do. Team Beyond the Week. Big J. Live to your die, Myron! <laughs>